back in 2012, I, I got to be one of, I got to be the introducer of the Connecticut Trust Act, um, which put Connecticut, uh, I think, in a place where uh, we should be proud to have been and we should try to remain, which is at the forefront of doing something to protect our immigrant communities. We pushed forward a law that said, you know, when uh, ICE comes and gives us a detainer, we're not going to say we just completely ignore that detainer, but we're not going to do anything more than we are actually required to do, uh, offering some protections to our uh, immigrant community. And one of the reasons why um, I was the person to do it is I'm not the person you think of as doing it, right? You often think of this as a, a, an issue of our Latino community. I think it's an issue of all of us. They're immigrants of all sorts. But one of the reasons I was willing to do this, and it became important to me, is because of my experience as a black person in America. I've told people that I have never in my life left my house without identification in my pocket. And that has something to do with where I grew up. It has something to do with my relationship to the police. And the relationship that our immigrant communities have to the police is a very similar relationship, where it's a relationship where we should be able to trust them, but we don't. And we don't want that to be the case. We want people to feel safe. And the reason we want them to feel safe is when they don't feel safe, they can't talk to the police and crimes might go unsolved. And when those crimes go unsolved, those aren't crimes that just affect their neighborhood, they affect other neighborhoods. And so this isn't just an issue of what we would call the immigrant community. This is an issue for all of us. And so I'm happy as a person who's been elected in this state to represent, yes, my district, but all of the state to stand with the people who are here today and to stand with them uh, in the very near future at the rally. Immigrants are a key integral part of our community. Um, without them, uh, we sh will see an impact in our state and in our nation. What we need to do now is unite, and we are here to stay. So again, Saturday, April 29th, from 1 to 3 p.m. at the Connecticut State Capitol North Steps. The event will not only defend the rights of immigrants, it will celebrate our contribution to the richness of Hartford, of Connecticut, and of the United States. These are the people that make this country work. These are the people that power this economy. And so when we talk about an administration that has launched a full-on attack and assault on immigrants, I want everybody to understand that it isn't just one administration attacking a small group of people, because we're not a small group of people. We're the American people. And so when the President of the United States, when this administration launches a full-out attack, he's attacking the American people. This is a war on the American people, and we have to call it for what it is. And that's why I'm proud to stand with all of my colleagues, the many immigrants that make up this state, who power this economy, who make us who we are, who make us the country that we are, and to come here on April 29th and to speak loudly that we will not stand for it and we will fight for our rights and our place in this country and our seat at the